welcome everybody to the first in a series of uh, seminars that we're doing in conjunction with the Yogi Bear Museum. And thanks to Eve and the staff here for hosting this. Uh, thank you to the New Jersey Jackals players for being here. We've invited the Ottawa team as well. Uh, this first series, as you know, is on shoulder and elbow injuries. And we will have a continued series of these, but this will be published to a lot of outlets. Thanks to Johnson & Johnson for being here today to support us. And most importantly, the collaboration with New Jersey Orthopedic Institute is been, has been amazing. But anyway, I, I think, and I'm very simple, so I'm going to tell you what I, I try to do uh, as much as I can to prevent injuries, and that's is to try to communicate between the manager and the pitcher. Okay, and uh, in, in, in most cases, if I have my seventh and eighth inning guy rested, they feel fine in the grammar in the ninth inning. Okay, they're going to pitch, but I, I always have to ask them, "How are you feeling today?" And if they're, if they're a little bit tight, I don't I don't look for. Um, I've told these guys before, the communication is very important because I'm not looking for heroes. Okay, I don't need you to be a hero. I need you to stay healthy because we're going to play 100 games this year. Okay, so. In, in, in my opinion, the communication between the manager and the players, especially in a pro environment where we're not playing 50 games, we're going to play 100, 120, and even in affiliated ball, 144 and, and higher. So uh, I think communication is the one thing that helps a whole lot in preventing guys showing up at his office. Okay? That and the fact that we have an extra pitcher this year. Sometimes we were a little short uh, last year. And it, uh, it, it cost us uh, with doctor's appointments and, and so forth. What I've seen in the last four, five, six years, uh, the first couple of years I've, I've been out of baseball for a long time, but I, I, I see a lot of forearm tightness. And that forearm tightness is almost every time led to something in the elbow. You have to have a holistic approach. You have to have um, you know, an orthopedic doctor. You have to have your trainers that, that helps synergize that program based on the assessment of the athlete. And um, that's, I think that's what would maximize the arm care is, is having the ability to take each individual person, do an assessment, and see what works best for them. Um, because I think that's what we're trying to do uh, at CMO. And, and one of the, probably the only fact, only truth we know, no matter how much research we do into arms, if you don't throw, <coughs> then we'll not get hurt. That's the only thing, right? Stop throwing, you'll stop hurting your shoulder. You'll stop hurting your elbow. But by the constant throwing, something's going to give eventually. Uh, as Coach said, we're not supposed to do this. We're not supposed to throw overhead, but we do. So how do we enable ourselves to be successful and still be able to stay on the field? <coughs> There's no magic bullet. I don't believe, I, I'm nauseated by weighted balls. I'm nauseated by the whole thing. It makes me sick. Why does it make me sick? Because most kids, their mechanics are not very good. And so now you're asking someone who probably didn't play professionally or hasn't played high level baseball, you're asking this kid to put a weighted ball into their hand and throw it as hard as they can. It's, it's nauseating. It makes me physically ill to see that that's where our future is, and there's no end in sight. I just really wanted to thank uh, Greg and the Jackals for putting a great uh, event together. And all our speakers, uh, Brooks, Tony, uh, Coach Shepard, Isaac, um, really for, for uh, giving us a lot of perspective. And, uh, you know, I think in, in all of medicine, at least, you know, in, in my experience, this is uh, dealing with baseball players is really like case in point, like the art of medicine. My job, you know, what I focus on every day in my life is trying to create the most technically best possible surgery I could do to get an athlete back on the field, but also to, to work with the team, try to prevent injuries, um, prevent a surgery when we identify them early. And my biggest advice to athletes is, you know, don't don't put your hand, head in the sand when you get an injury or you feel like something's wrong. Is to communicate as quickly as possible to the trainers and the coaches um, to let them know. Don't feel like this is all going to work against you. They're they're there to help you and to help prevent this, you know, become a bigger problem. Um, Thanks for being here today. On behalf of the speakers, I'd like to thank our sponsors, New Jersey Jackals, the museum. 
Museum and Learning Center and Johnson & Johnson. Uh, we're thrilled to have done this first series and most importantly thank you to New Jersey Orthopedic Institute. They are our docs, they're world class, and we're thrilled to have you. Thank you.